After graduation, he worked with various repertoire theatres in Britain and is also a member of the National Theatre of Great Britain. He has starred in various British television shows and series in the 1970s like The Goodies, Till Death Do Us Part and lots more. Over 20 experimental high-relief paintings by George Igudalo is exhibited at the DD Museum in Lagos. Works of art that show what the graduate of the Yaba College of Technology Lagos has been working on during his break from the art scene. I wanted to arouse the minds of uh, people who are not too uh, keen on the arts, as well as those who are keen on the arts, who would understand the language. Perhaps that's why he christened the exhibition Pungent Punctuations, the strong ideas he was toying with while he was hibernating. He's been part of other group exhibitions, but by standing alone, he is able to reveal these artistic pangs and sensibilities in his works, where he has explored several techniques and put them together to create a conversation on canvas. Metal foil is one material George uses to add texture to his surfaces. One of them is titled The Mirage. Other works include I Saw Bling Bling, a portrait of a lady in a high corrugated and pastel mixed media with gold foil for blushes and marbles for the eyes in a dominant orange background. And then there's Face of a Drummer, Friends and Admirers, Slumber, Intimate Whispers, among others. In this piece, I took what I played with on um an eye for bling bling a step further. I wanted to create high, tensive, corrugated movements that basically when you, if you were to step into the room where the piece is and you walk past it, very close, you walk past it, you just see a whole mass of uh, colors and movements. You cannot make any detail out. Before he graced the walls of the university, I Judge had already been a lover of the artworks by masters such as Yusuf Grillo, Dele Jagade, and Kolade Oshinowo, who had always intrigued him. He tells the line of art historian Professor Ola Oloidi and admits that other artists featured have influenced him greatly in his artistic journey. Each artist exhibited is not begging for any professional clearance. He has already made an impact by daring to break barriers. Whether you're a musician or dancer, it's important to keep practicing. You know what they say, practice makes perfect. The look of your product says a lot about you as an artist and the level of your artistic career. Interesting works of art there done by George. And still to come on Art House, we're going to jazz up your system a bit. You won't want to miss that after the break. This month in art history. William Rockhill Nelson, founder of the Kansas City Star and patron of Nelson Atkins Museum of Art, was born on March the 7th, 1841. Kenneth Jameson, art educationalist, dies at 83 on March the 17th, 1996. Ronald Alley was born on March the 12th, 1926. First American Shakespearean production altered, graced the stage on March the 5th, 1750. The 
Yominka Gallery is the spot where this combination of sight and sound is taking place. Upcoming artist Diana Bada serenades the atmosphere with her soothing tunes. While inside the hall, works of art done by different artists pamper the eyes. So the viewer is satisfied both ways. This one-of-a-kind event is organized to show the universality of this art, which speaks to you no matter the medium through which it is interpreted. Music is something that just makes you, touches you in different ways, you know. It could motivate you, it could lift your spirit up, it could um, uh, direct you in, in different things you want to do. And the style of music I make is very conscious, is very um, based on different experiences I've had in my life. And I, I believe that a lot of people can relate to that. <laughs> This is the first time the musician is sharing the spotlight with this uncommon companion, but she admits that as a performer still climbing the success ladder, it's always better to expect the unexpected and open your mind to new ideas. Right now I am also still growing, I'm also still learning in the process, both in the country and you know in the industry. So. Um, for future projects, I, I intend to also work with different people, you know, different um, poets, musicians, DJs, producers, you know, just to continue like learning and to continue just creating and doing the best I can. A style of music is gradually gaining popularity. It's a fusion of hip hop, jazz, and reggae. <laughs> It's not the usual that you see on the Lagos or the Nigerian circuit where you know, lots, lots of music are sold with, um, with uh, for me, less than um, socially conscious lyrics. Ours is uh, uh, music that is not only interesting and nourishing for the soul, but it also comes with that social bite. Call it a wholesome art event and you may not be wrong, for the music suits the soul, enhancing a deeper appreciation for the arts. Olu Dotun Bayeo Jacobs, popularly known and called Olu Jacobs, was born on the 11th of July 1942 in Egba Alake, Abeokuta Ogun State, Nigeria. Olu Jacobs attended Holy Trinity School in Kanu, Nigeria, and later left Nigeria for England to school at the Royal Academy for Dramatic Arts. After graduation, he worked with various repertoire theatres in Britain and he's also a member of the National Theatre of Great Britain. Uncle Olu, as fondly referred to by colleagues, is a Nigerian actor. He has starred in various British television shows and series in the 1970s, like The Goodies, Till Death Do Us Part, and lots more. Olu Jacobs returned to Nigeria in the early 80s and starred in Third Eye. His first movie, produced by Double A Promotions, was Vigilante, he has featured in over 130 movies and counting.
you can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. We've cruised to the world of drama, paintings and music and I hope you enjoyed taking this ride with us and if you did, I'm looking forward to seeing you next week. Till then, I'm Melinda Akinami. Have a lovely day.